Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 5.9 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine V0 and I0 in the op M circuit in figure 5.30. Oke, okay, remember that the voltage in both terminal of op M is the same. And here we have 1.2 volt from the ground which is connected to this positive terminal of the op M. So the voltage in this node will be the same as the voltage in this node and because this node is shorted with this node here we know that this will be the same as one two three nodes here and again because this is connected to the positive terminal of the op m this is also the same in this node here but then this node is also this node here So this node here will have the same value as this node here. And we know exactly this node is, which is 1.2 volt. Therefore, this will be 1.2 volt. 1.2 volt. Okay, maybe let's name this node as node A. And we assume the direction of the current from the end to node A. So I0, we know that it goes down, so like this and this i want it to go down and the current that goes into the op m is zero okay so we can do kcl at node a kcl at node a and kcl said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the currents that goes out the only current that goes in into node a is this current here But this node here is V0 from the ground. So let's just write it. So we'll have V0 minus VA divided by 200 kilo ohm. Okay, all the other currents is going out. So we can get the equal sign here. The current that goes into the op M is 0. So I'll have 0. And then plus VA divided by the ground. So I'll have VA minus 0, which is VA divided by 50. Okay. We know exactly VA is, which is 1.2. So we'll plug that in. So I'll have V0 minus 1.2 divided by 200. And that will equal to 0 is just 0. And then VA is 1.2 over 50. Okay, now maybe let's isolate the V0. V0 minus 1.2 is equal to 1.2 divided by 50 multiplied by 200. Okay. And we will get that V0 is, let's move this minus 1.2 to the right hand side, right? So I have 1.2 divided by 50 multiplied by 200 and then plus 1.2. 50 and 200 will cancel into 4 and that will be 4.8, right? Because 1.2 multiplied by 4 is 4.8. And 4.8 plus 1.2, that will be 6 volt. So we'll have V0 is equal to 6 volt. Let's put this in the box. So this is the first value that is asked by the problem. So we'll have V0 is equal to 6 volt. Okay, and... The other question is asking about I0, but then I0 can be easily calculated using Ohm's law, which is I0 is just VA divided by 50. Okay, what is VA? VA is 1.2 volt, so we'll have 1.2 divided by 50. So we'll have I0 is equal to That will be 0.024 milliampere because this is volt and this is kilo ohm. So the unit here will be milliampere. 
and this will be multiply it by 1000 so we will get micro ampere so i'll have 24 micro ampere and this is the value of i zero which is asked by the problem so we get the value of v0 and i0 in the practice problem 5.9 i think that's all thank you see you in the next video bye bye